For today's video, we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to be shooting factory loads, the 150 grain PowerPoint Winchester ammunition. I'm going to be first shooting them into 10% ballistic gelatin. Then I will remove the gelatin, set up some milk jugs full of water, shoot that, and kind of go over those differences. started opening up almost instantaneously you do have tears just a little bit on all three sides of the block and its total penetration was 22 and 5 eighths to that leading edge Now let's set up some water jugs and see just kind of that difference. quite tear on the one side so you don't have that quite five inches but three of the four sides got tears on it. Two and five eighths is roughly right here, so that's the jug that should catch our bullet. in the last jug. And it's really similar. I'll give grain weight uh, weights in the description but as you can see grotesquely explosive on those first jugs because when it hits with enough velocity and the water doesn't compress just dumps far more energy than what is actually dumped in the game but when it slows down is able to penetrate through that water and get more penetration just showing some of the reasons why when you're watching videos and bullets shot 
into water and not ballistics gelatin. It's an accurate enough median if you know what you're looking for or looking at, but you will not get near that aggressive of an explosion shooting into a game animal and you can tend to get a little better penetration using just water. So know when you're watching videos where people are testing bullets, shooting water, more than likely you're not going to get that much penetration. And after it drops below a certain velocity, and I have not tested it yet to see where that's at, you will get a straight line penetration. But you'll also have a window there at lower velocities where that bullet in water may open up and look like it's still performed because water doesn't compress, where on game, it would have pin lined straight through that game. So just know it's an okay median for some testing, but really shouldn't be used when you're looking at bullets and how they're gonna perform on game. There is a reason that the 10% standard was set years ago. Um, yeah, there are some people that use 20% gelatin for some testing. That was a NATO standard set for different reasons and has nothing to do with hunting medium and large game. So again, just know what you're looking at, know how that should translate to game, and know if you're really looking at how that bullet's going to perform end game, the closest you're going to get, again not perfect, is 10% ballistics gelatin. Hope you guys enjoy the video.